Hello, it is Ruffle Your Feathers time, monthly badass guidance for Phoenix-led transformation. And welcome to Demystify the Divine, weekly readings and tools to connect. So excited to be here with you guys today. And I have to admit, this is, of all of the segments that I do, this is my favorite one, um, because we get to be sassy. We get to be raw and real with the universe and tapping into our own inner phoenixes because folks it is all about the change and the transformation that's what life is about if you think it's anything other than that you've been sold some swampland down in florida because it is always about our ever ever evolving spirit our ever evolving soul journeys so for those of you who um, are not familiar with your inner phoenix Click on the link below. You can pause the uh, pause the video here and uh, check out the Find Your Phoenix quiz. Uh, it's on my website, and you can find out whether you are a copper phoenix, iron, silver, gold, uh, platinum, or liquid diamond phoenix. And this phoenix personality type lets you know how you change, how you shift, how you deal with transformations, the good, the bad, and the everything in between. Um, and then come back into the video and uh, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna pull a card for each of those Phoenix energies. And let's see what we got for you. So uh, uh, click the bell, like, subscribe, share this video with anyone that you feel could use a little sass with a little bit of um, clarity and guidance in your life. Copper Phoenixes, here is what we've got for you. Ooh. So, coppers, I feel like you guys are going to end up. So, I feel like a lot of you actually you're you're ha you're receiving a message. You're receiving a message that is connected to something that you've been wanting for a really long time. You've been waiting with anticipation for this message, for this information. Is it a yes? Is it a no? Did I get approved of this? Am I ready to finally take that leap? And I want to say it's really important. Like when we look at this chick, she looks pretty stuffy. Um, it's a kind of a gray day. It's a little bit windy. She's got all these beautiful birds around her, but she looks like, yeah, she's got a rose in her hand. She looks like she's maybe on a mission or she looks like she's walking away from something. And what I'm feeling here for you guys is when you receive this message, I feel like it's important to not be so stuffy about it, not take yourself so seriously about it. Move forward with gusto. You know, don't be afraid to, it's almost like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's like, I don't want to get too excited. I don't want to allow myself to have too much fun or, you know, to, to lean into this too much because what if it gets taken away from me? What if it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Get out of your head. Don't live in the future. Live in the present moment. If the message got to you in that way, it's because it's meant for you. So get out of your own way and receive that. Um, also, because she is a little bit stuffy, I feel like she's um, she has expectation. And what does expectation do? Expectation breeds a lot of disappointment. And it's disappointment in yourself. It's disappointment in others. It's, you know, always waiting for somebody to screw up. Oh, you're going to let me down. And I feel like this is a message for you guys to let go of all of that expectation. Step more into a space of acceptance. Ooh, I got this yes. Well, now we're on a new adventure. I wonder what this adventure is going to hold. Not, well, this adventure has got to look like this and it's got to be like this. You know, I, I often say when we're looking for signs from the universe, we're like, okay, you know, universe, show me a pink feather today with blue polka dots. And you go out all day and you're looking and you're looking and, and you get this blue feather with pink polka dots on it. And you're like, nope, that's not what I asked for. It's not what I asked for. I asked for a pink feather with blue polka dots. So yep, I didn't receive my sign. The universe is not on my side. My guides aren't with me today. No, silly. It's remove your expectation. They gave you, it was hard enough to get a, a pink feather, let alone a blue feather with pink polka dots. That was a feat. So let go of expectation of what should be what needs to be, what I think this is supposed to look like and step more into the, all right, 
I just received a green light to go. Let's take this adventure and see where we go with it. Let's move forward. So copper phoenixes, get the fark out of your own way and allow spirit to flow into your life. Mm, I love it. Okay, we are tapping in now for our iron phoenixes. And iron phoenixes, this is going to be a month of some heavy, I feel like dispersion of heavy energy. I feel like you guys all need to be alchemists this month. Um, there's going to be a lot that's coming at you and a lot that is going to feel like overwhelm, uh, frustration, uh, in some cases pain. And what I keep hearing is looking to the resources around you to alchemize what is happening to transmute it because it's all, there's a reason for it. It's all happening for a specific reason. And it's like, it's your job to actually look for the reason, not, uh, Oh, I have no idea what this is about. And, you know, just show me, show me, show me. No, look for it. Why is this happening? What did I do? What did I not do? What was I thinking at the time? How did my actions create this scenario? What part did I play? in this particular experience. What is spirit trying to show me? Mm, let's see what we got. Oh, beautiful. You got the muse and it's an 11. So I feel like that's really important. So irons, the 11, the master number, it's definitely an angel number. Um, and I'm feeling like for you guys, it really is this month about paying attention to you. Where are your thoughts? Where are your actions? What are your choices? What are your motivations? And you don't have to judge your motivations, but you do need to be truthful about your motivations. And I feel like, you know, we all have those moments where we expect a yes and we get a no and then we're pissed. And there's a tendency to, you know, maybe push the no, maybe to be a little manipulative or to, um, to change that path because you're really mad that you got the no. What I'm hearing here is the muse is coming through to say, don't choose the manipulative path. Don't get frustrated and necessarily give up. Go into a space of, okay, I received the no. Let's, let's find out why I received the no. And then let me be creative in coming up with another solution, another option. Um, I'm also feeling here that uh, like I'm being drawn to the, uh, the rainbow that's coming out of her playing. So sound frequency, you need to be listening to, you need to be rocking out to some serious hardcore music that makes you feel all the feels. And this is coming through in a really big way because I feel like I keep hearing that word manipulation or wanting to change something and, and wanting to do it the quick way or the easy way, um, rather than having to put the, the extra steps in to getting what it is that you want, maybe in the right way or the, the civil way or the, you know, however that is. And I feel like this is saying, get your feelings out, like rock out to whatever it is you need to get those feelings out of you so that you can then be clear on the choices that you're making and, and the next steps that you're going to take, because yeah, you can manipulate or you can, you know, say something and, and put an ultimatum out there. You can do all of those things, but understand that there are going to be consequences to some of those choices and you don't necessarily want those consequences. So I feel like for you guys, it's using sound frequency and vibration to shift the fark out of your energy and into a different space. And that is going to provide that, that third solution as it were. And it is about the third solution. It is about other options for you. So yeah, you're going to be pissed that you get that. No, you're not going to like it at all. And you're going to say, what do you mean? No, I have all my ducks in a row for this. This was the plan. This is where I was heading. If you say no, that means that everything else gets shut down. I'm halted. Too bad, so sad, sucks to be you. Get creative on how to work around it without leaving negative consequence in your wake. Hmm. Wow. Uh, Iron Phoenixes, you just got a butt kick. Ouch. My butt is sore for you because I'm feeling it all as I'm channeling it. So, <laughs> so stop it. 
<laughs> Stop it. Make a different choice. <laughs> All right, gold phoenixes. Let's see what we got for you this, this month, this energy. Okay. So I feel like there's some issue around vanity and I'm laughing because folks, we all have that in our bodies. And while I'd like to tell you, oh no, I'm fine. I can grow old gracefully and I don't care about my looks and blah, blah, blah. I look at myself every freaking day in the camera, whether I'm doing these recordings or I'm you know, on camera, on Zoom with, with clients every single day, I'm getting a big reflection of myself and I don't always like what I see. So this vanity message, I'm, I'm feeling it with you. And what I'm hearing here for you guys is it's going to be important to look at yourself in all facets, not like when we're looking at her, she's admiring herself and she's got all of these different mirrors and these different frames around her. It's like she's constantly in a state of having to look at herself from all angles, but she's doing it from the perspective of, I'm admiring this and that. And there's that vanity piece. And what I keep hearing is remove the vanity and really look at yourself from all of those different vantage points not from that place of vanity or the lens of vanity, but from the lens of purity. Ooh, look at it from the lens of purity. Be honest with the wrinkle or the mole or the, you know, whatever it is, the choice that you made that you wish you could take back. The, um, the, the commitment you just said yes to that you really don't want to, or the opposite the commitment that you just turned down and you could have very easily done it and you know you should have, but you just didn't want to and now you've got guilt around it. Look at all of it, examine all of it because I feel like for you guys this month, there's a quality of wholeness that wants to come up and come through for you guys. And in order for you to really get into that wholeness energy, seeing all facets of you and really embracing it and allowing it all to kind of meld together into this version of you that wants to become, you have to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you have to look at it from that perspective of observation, non-judgment. Vanity comes from, we care about what other people think. It comes from a need to be approved of. Mm. So let go. That's what you're being called to this month. You're being called to let go of the attachment to approval. You know, other people doing things for other people so that they can think well of you, so that you can be, you know, seen and heard, so that you feel better about yourself. Um, yeah, you got to throw that out. You got to throw that right out. And I think it's fascinating because <laughs> she's on a blue couch. Truth, speaking your truth. She's sitting on the truth, but she's not looking at the truth. She's wearing, you know, she's wearing this blue gown. She's wearing the blue, but she's not looking at the blue. She's looking at her face. She's looking at the, do I look all right? It's the mask. It's the mask and I feel like it's, this is the, this is the month to take off the mask. So some deep soul work for you guys, um, uh, for you, uh, gold phoenixes. Woo. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. So I, my butt is hurting from the iron Phoenix message <laughs> and now my pride is wounded. Um, and my vanity is being called into question for my gold phoenixes. All right, silver phoenixes. Let's see what kind of butt kick you're gonna get. Maybe you're gonna get off scot-free. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you guys got a 33. So lots of creative energy, a lot of ascended master energy that's coming through for you guys. So a lot of communication that you're receiving, spiritual psychic downloads that you're gonna be getting this month. Um, it's not going to keep coming if you keep ignoring it. So I feel like your guides are saying, stop being so choosy 
write it all down. You can decide later what you want to work with, what you want to dismiss, but you need to write it all down because I feel like the message here is we're not going to continue to keep trying to get your attention with this particular inspiration. It's like, it's here for a particular period of time. And if you decide not to jump on it, you miss the boat on it. And we don't care whether you say yes to it or not, but we know that you will care. And you might real not realize it right now, but down the road, you might have some regret at the fact that you didn't listen to the guidance. You didn't listen to what was coming up. So when we look at the figure in this picture, we've got this beautiful ballerina. And whenever I'm seeing a ballerina, it always symbolizes to me the work and the dedication that is required to, um, to master um, such a beautiful art form. You know, they make it look so easy, so effortless. You know, you don't even hear their feet on the on the stage, right? And they're jumping and dancing and doing all sorts of things. I mean, I get out of bed and I'm like a lumbering elephant around the house. I can't even imagine. And that's just me walking to the bathroom. Like I can't even imagine, you know, ballerinas and the dedication that it takes to, to you know, and the, the things that you do to the body to make that happen. So I feel like there's this element here of her reflecting on the journey that she's been on and she's taken a little bit of a break. She's backing up a little bit. Yeah, her foot's in the water, her toe's in the water. Um, she's still connected to her feelings, but I feel like for you guys, it's you can't receive the messages and the information if you're constantly in that um, state of trying to master and perfect your craft. There are times when you need a break and this is that month. Take the break to listen to the messages, to receive the messages because all of these beautiful koi fish are here in the pond where she's, she's dipping her toe in and she's not paying attention to them, but that's okay. She's still in the environment of them. But koi fish is abundance and luck. And I feel like you're gonna get a lucky idea. You're gonna receive that inspiration. But if you're not paying attention, if you don't stop to actually receive the message, it's going to pass you by and it's going to go to someone else. So avoid that regret and pay attention to what your guides are trying to say. Yes, there is joy and purpose. Oops, joy and purpose in working towards a goal, in, into mastering a craft or a skill but it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Focus on a little bit of the gray area. You gotta take a little bit of a break and you, you've gotta take that break. It's not a, I'm gonna take a break and watch Netflix because that's not an engaging break. Like that's not a stillness or a mindfulness break. That's a, uh, I got no energy to do anything break. This is taking a mindfulness break so that you can receive what your guides have for you. Or you can choose to ignore it and not pay attention to it. And there will be some regret on the flip side. So uh, choose, but choose wisely. All right. So now we are at our uh, platinum phoenixes. Hmm. I'm feeling some heaviness around you guys this month too. Like heaviness in your mind. Um, wanting to do something feeling held back, feeling a level of limitation, feeling chains. And I keep hearing someone else's chains. Um, don't forget that you are in charge of you. Those chains are an illusion. Uh, it's giving away your power. Let's see what your card is. Oh, beautiful. And you guys got a 44. So we had the 11, the 33, the 44, wow. So our guides are really speaking today. So the 44, manifestation, serious foundation. Uh, four is also very much like a money card. You know, it's it's having stability, um, having fortitude and in that stability. And what I love about this particular card here is she is embodying 
the energy of the swans. She is walking with the swans. She's going in the same direction as the swans. And what do we know about swans? They're very graceful creatures. Um, but I always use the swans as the analogy for the star seeds. And a lot of you platinum phoenixes do relate to that star seed energy because you have that uh, otherworldly visionary approach to life. And what I'm seeing here is embody more of that energy. Stop trying to fit in. Stop trying to, you know, I, what I keep hearing in my head is like, well, sometimes it's just easier to go along and get along. You know, sometimes I get sick and tired of the fight or I get sick and tired of having to explain myself all the time. And I want to say to you, yeah, all of that is true. And who are you serving by not saying what you feel? Who are you serving by not you know, walking that particular path. Yeah, it's exhausting to have to try and explain yourself 67,000 times. Maybe the issue is that you're trying to explain yourself to the wrong people. Consider people's capacity. Who are you trying to explain it to? Do they have the capacity to receive what it is that you're trying to explain? Maybe not. And it doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad person. It doesn't necessarily mean they don't want to understand you. Sometimes that is the case, but sometimes it's not. But what it does mean is, hmm, maybe I need to kind of stick with birds of a feather. Maybe I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree, as they say. It's time for you, and it's not about conforming and it's not about exclusivity. It's more of a frequency for you guys this month. Am I vibing with the people I'm around? Am I vibing with the, the job that I'm in? Am I vibing with the situations that I'm trying to uh, create or enact or, or move forward with. Because maybe the, the lack of grace or the lack of smoothness, the lack of support, collaboration and support, is because your guides are wanting to steer you in a different direction, wanting to bring you more into a space where you're with like-minded, like-hearted souls. You know, birds of a feather flock together. So this month, it's really evaluating where your foundation is. And are you putting your time and energy and investment into the right foundation? Because there should be a level of ease and flow. Even if it's not easy, even if there is challenge in it, there should be a general ease and flow to what you're doing. If it's a constant stop start, if there are constant obstacles getting in the way, pay attention. Your guides are saying, no, we got to redirect you. This isn't the right thing for you. This is going to hurt you. And if you keep doing it and you ignore the signs, yeah, they're not going to stop you from having that experience because clearly you're telling them that's the experience you want to have. And there will be pain on the other side of it. And then they'll start again and say, okay, now you've had that experience. Are you done with that? Or do you need to have it again? Are you going to listen? And that's what I'm feeling is up, is coming up for you guys. Whew. All right. Liquid diamond phoenixes. Let's see what is coming up for you guys this month. Uh, painful purpose. So, ooh, painful from the perspective of, <laughs> I see... I see liquid diamond phoenixes taking, like going, purposely going off the beaten path into the wild unknown, uh, almost out of a place of stubbornness. Like I'm going to do this just because you don't want me to do this. I'm going to do this because I can't. Um, but it's out of a more reactionary space or a more rebellious space. Um, than it is a, a, over something that's actually really going to help you. And what I keep seeing is you're off the beaten path and now you're walking through the brambles and you're like, oh my God, this really wasn't such a good idea. But now I'm kind of like, I'm in it. It's going to require the same amount of pain to, to continue to go through or to back up. I've got all those little pickers in my skin and on my clothes and, you know, there's some damage here. So, so what do I need to do? Do I need to, do I need to just keep, plodding on through because I don't know how long this path of brambles is going to last. Um, or do I step back 
kind of admit that, okay, that might not have been the right call and start where you were and redirect and, and, and start over again, start fresh. And what I keep hearing is you got to listen to your inner guidance about it. When you realize, okay, I'm stuck in this bramble space. Do I go forward or back? The only way you're going to receive that answer is to get quiet, shut the hell up and listen and be open to receiving it. And then listen and, and apply what, what comes through. Do what the guidance says to do. It's not about your ego. It's about the intuition. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got the devil card and the devil is the rebel. The devil symbolizes the, the addictions, the ways that we can get in our own way, the stubbornness, um, the, I'm going to, I'm going to beat to the tune of my own drum. Not necessarily that that's a bad thing. Sometimes we need to be the rebel, but what I keep hearing is this is cutting your nose off to spite your face. Like you're going off the beaten path because you know, your father told you to do it and he's getting under your skin and you're sick and tired of being told what to do. And you're like, screw you, I'm going to do this. But what he was saying had merit, right? What he was saying was, listen, if you do that, like I know that path and it's not an easy path. And you're like, screw you, I'm going to do it anyway. So getting the devil card makes a lot of sense. So I want to say to you, it's okay to be a rebel, but I want to say, be smart about it. Calculated risk. <laughs> Don't dive into something before checking in with yourself. Is this actually the right thing for me? You know, or is this popping into my space because it's supposed to give me a little bit of food for thought and maybe I need to do a little more research to decide how I want to explore it, if I want to explore it. So Liquid Diamonds, um, another message for you guys, it's about not getting in your own way through that stubbornness. Yeah, you can do a lot of things. You can do anything you want to you want to do. Don't get baited by your ego. You know, the 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 um the devil also represents our ego, you know, the id as they say. So don't get baited. Don't take the bait with your ego. Um <laughs> I feel like this month it's not so much that you're going to have to like sit on your hands and like tape over your mouth in order to not move forward. But what I do feel is that it is going to take some restraint on yourself to not try to bulldoze or push ahead or go against the grain. If you want to go against the grain, do it with purpose, do it with intention. Again, calculated risk, not just because. So pay attention to those places in your life this week where you're doing shit just because. That's going to be a bit of a, I want to say a self-sabotage. And you don't need that. You don't need to do it. Um, you can back up that rebel and you can add a little rebel, you know, spice, a little shaker of rebel on your food rather than eating the whole plate of rebel. And I feel like that's what you need to focus on this month. Holy cannoli, I'm just feeling all sorts of um, uh, butt kick. <laughs> all sorts of butt kick this month. Um, and I'm receiving all of these messages. So I'm gonna tell you guys, I am a liquid diamond phoenix, but I really felt into quite a few of, um, of your other readings. So if there's something that resonates with you and it's with a different, um, a different category or a different type, own that too, because we all receive the messages that we need to receive in various ways and forms and guises. So open yourself up to that. That is our um, monthly badass guidance. I hope your feathers are, are good and ruffled. <laughs> and um, if you need a little bit of guidance or support on any of this stuff that's coming through, you know where I'm at. Feel free to click the link below um, to book a session with me at theblackfeatherintuitive.com and like, subscribe, click the bell on my YouTube channel to get all of this juicy content. And if you're looking for a little support and, um, and community, because we all need that, consider joining my completely free Black Feather community. All the support you can handle. Take care, guys. Have the most amazing week and we will see you on the flip side.